Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a let's play of a game called Terraria. This is a game that's been on PC for a while, uh, but it's just been released on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And yeah, I'm about to start playing. And the reason I'm starting off in the menu is because I've never played this game before. So I'm going to uh, create myself a character and load up my world, and I'm going to spend my first night in Terraria. And I think that. The way that most people describe this game is like 2D Minecraft, which I think is a bit unfair uh, because it does do quite a lot of things differently than Minecraft, but um, yeah, I mean there are a lot of similarities and you're going to see that uh, once we get started, but first I guess I've got to I gotta make myself a character. Um, are there like loads of different hair types? Okay, is this, this all my choice here? Um, what kind of hair shall I go for? I kind of want kind of like an afro. Here we go. That's me. That's what I look like. And uh, it's kind of like darky brown, sort of how my hair is. I guess kind of that kind of colour. Um, I don't know. It kind of looks very orange on the colour wheel. But um, yeah, I'll go for it like that. Eye colour. I have green eyes. Um, I make them slightly brighter than they are in real life. Uh, skin colour. Um, I could go orange so I look like my cat in Minecraft, I guess. Um, I don't know if that's a little bit too orange there. There we go. That, that would do. That's kind of realistic hair colour. Uh, shirt colour? Um, actually no, I, I think I have normal colour skin. Can I, can I go back? Here we go. I can switch between them. I have kind of normal skin. There we go. Kind of slightly pale. And then I'll go for an orange top. Um, what should I go for? Something like that. That'll do. Uh, undershirt colour. Okay, I can have different colour sleeves. What about like white sleeves? Does that look alright? Or red sleeves? Black sleeves? I don't, I don't know. What, what goes well with orange? That looks alright, doesn't it? Whatever colour that is. And then what colour pants shall I have? I might just go for jeans. Just standard jeans. There we go. That looks just like me. Come on, I thought I was looking into a mirror for a second there. <laughs> uh, standard black shoes. Lovely jubbly. Uh, difficulty... Um, what's the difference here? Okay, so we got normal, where when you die, you drop your money. Uh, difficult, drop all items. Hardcore. Death is permanent. No, thank you, mate. <laughs> I won't last long like that. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just go for normal for now while I'm getting used to it. And yeah, I, I, I am a male. <laughs> I love the little different sounds it makes. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Sorted. That, that's my character. That's, that's me. Um, let, let's go. Uh, enter character name. I think I think I go for just Stampy, just so it's not too long in case it's written anywhere. There we go. Character name Stampy. There's me. Now let's start playing. Uh, so I've never played this game before. This is all going to be completely new to me. I know a little bit about the game because um, I have seen a bit of gameplay from the PC version, uh, but this is my first time ever playing. So. Uh, I might as well do it online and invite only. Uh, I'm actually playing this game before it comes out, uh, so I don't think there'll be anyone else playing it right now. Um, I actually need to thank 505 Games for sending me this game so I could uh, make this video. Although sadly, uh, there was an embargo, so I couldn't actually, um, yeah, I couldn't actually upload this video before the game came out. So you're seeing this uh, on the day of release, and you can actually choose a world side, which is kind of different to Minecraft. And the small world is massive. The medium world is like extra massive and large world is like extra extra massive and I think I might go large. I, I don't see any reason to pick a smaller world because I really only want to make one world and I can imagine everyone's going to sort of join into my world and build houses and stuff. So yeah, let's make myself a large world. Oh and I can call it something. Um, I'll put on the spot here. Uh, Stampies. Oh god, I hate having to type in videos. I really need to get a keyboard so I can do this better. Yes, yeah, Stampy's Wonderful World. There we go. Instead of Stampy's Lovely World, Stampy's Wonderful World. Stampy's Wonderful World. I love the music in the background as well. <laughs> Sounds really epic. Stampy's Wonderful World. Beautiful. Just generating it, adding in some sand. Oh, I'm going to have some dirt, I'm going to have some rocks. Okay, so I might as well explain a little bit about what this game is. As I said, it's been out on PC for a while. Uh, it was developed by RE Logic. Uh, it's been ported over to uh, the consoles by 505 Games. Uh, if you're thinking about picking it up, 
Uh, it cost you uh, 12,000 Microsoft points, no sorry, 1,200 uh, Microsoft points on Xbox, uh, which equates to about 11.99 on the PlayStation Network. That's pounds, that is. Um, I think it'll probably be about $15 and probably about 14 euros, I'd assume. And yeah, I mean, people do compare it to Minecraft a lot and you'll see why. Uh, it does do quite a lot of things different. Uh, there's probably a bigger emphasis on combat than there is in Minecraft. There's a lot of bosses you've got to go and fight. And it's all from a 2D perspective, so that kind of by itself changes a lot of the rules. And there's a lot more weapons and items than in Minecraft. You can get like like shotguns and flamethrowers and jetpacks and all sort of crazy stuff. And I mean, it is very similar to Minecraft, but I think it does enough things different and has got enough new additions to sort of make it its own game. And I'm just really looking forward to playing it. I've been waiting so long to get it and I couldn't play it on PC because I don't have a PC. I have a um, Mac so I couldn't actually play it on Mac. It's not available yet. They might be adding it on Mac which would be kind of awesome. And yeah, let's, let's get going. As I said, I've never played it before and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to spend my first night as a complete noob. Uh, so hopefully things will be a bit more exciting that way of me not knowing what I'm doing. And then after I record this video, I'm going to go and do a playthrough of the tutorial uh, because there is actually a proper tutorial. So I'm kind of kind of going to go in as a noob first because I think it might be a bit more fun. And then once I've done this first video, I'm going to do another video of me playing through the tutorial. So I'm going to leave that uh, as a link in the description if you want to watch that to sort of find out a little bit more about the game and all the different features. And uh, they've actually added uh, some new stuff to the... Um, uh, to the Xbox version and the uh, PlayStation version that wa wasn't actually in the PC. Uh, but anyway, here we are into the gameplay. Sorry it took me like six minutes to get into the gameplay, but here we are. This is Terraria. And who's this guy? There's just a random guy here. Uh, this is Zach. Can I speak to him? Press B. Uh, I am here to give you advice on what to do next. It is recommended that you talk with me anytime you get stuck. Okay, that's useful. Um, right, uh, there seems to be a little slime down there. I can press the right trigger. Oh, have I got a sword already? Oh, look, I've got a few items. I've got a, uh, a copper short sword, I got a copper pickaxe, and a normal axe. So let, let's cut down a tree, shall we? And I actually believe it's different to Minecraft. It's got different tree physics, so that I think that once you get rid of the bottom block of a tree, it should all just come down. And uh, there we go. <laughs> I, I don't think this axe is very good. Oh, no, no, I'm getting attacked by a slime. Get out of it. Oh, he's actually going for me. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not getting killed by slime in the first second. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I need to find out a bit more about the controls. So Y brings up my inventory. I can see everything here that I've got. I guess this is how I equipped things. There's me there. Don't I look awesome? <laughs> look at my massive hair. Uh, housing? I know you can actually build houses and have people like move in, like AI characters. And I guess here, this is crafting, I assume then. This is everything I can craft. Uh, there's not much I can make right now. Um, I guess I should try and get some more wood. And oh no, Zach's getting attacked by the slime. Take that, you slime. Take that, you fiend. <laughs> That's the most pathetic little stab in the world. Look, I'm just trying to poke it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm not getting killed by bloody little slime. I, I really need to get used to the uh, the controls. Like, I've seen a few videos from um, websites where they've shown gameplay. And I know there's like a mode where you can be really exact as to where you attack. Here we go. If you're pushing the right analog stick... I can move this little cursor around so I can be uh, more exact. And okay, I can push in the left analog stick to jump. I can switch through my stuff uh, with the uh, L bumper and the R bumper. I don't know what left trigger does. Okay, X throws things. X throws through my sword. That's going to get awkward when I'm trying to um, trying to craft and used to Minecraft controls. I'm going to keep dropping everything by pressing X. Anyway, I need to build a house. It does work uh, like Minecraft in the same way that when the sun goes down, when it gets dark, that is when the googlies rule the land and there's going to be uh, a whole load of nasties coming out. Thankfully, no creepers in this game, I assume. But um, yeah, I, I do need to be careful. So I guess I need to, to start gathering some wood and then I'm going to go and try and start building my house. Uh, have you got something else to say, Zach? What's going on? Oh, wrong button. I have a feeling I'm going to keep dropping a lot of stuff. <laughs> Uh, greetings, Stampy Longnose. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, tell me how to craft. Um, you, haven't, you haven't really helped me, mate. You've kind of just brought me back to the menu. I'd already found that. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's, let's explore for a bit, actually. I haven't sort of wandered around. Oh, look, here, here we have some stone. I might as well grab that so I can possibly make some stone tools or something. I don't actually know if your tools break. I can't actually see um, <clears throat> like how like good the condition of them is. You'd, you'd assume that it would come up. 
And this, this is quite a wonderful world. It does look nice. I do like the art style of this game. Everything does look quite cool. And what's this here? I found a, I found a thing. Was that a healing potion? Did that say a healing something or other? Um, I don't actually have a have a shovel yet, so I don't really know what I can use to dig. I guess I can use a pickaxe. Yeah, I, I think you you might have to just get dirt with a pickaxe because the normal axe doesn't work. Okay, well I got myself some dirt. Might come in handy. I'm gonna get rid of this tree because it's massive and should give me like loads of wood. And and then I'm really gonna have to start building a house soon because I can see the sun there and it's still midday now. I don't wanna spend too long just sort of wandering around having fun and then the night comes down and I immediately get killed. I don't I don't know if I can make a bed and sleep through the night. Like I really don't know how it all works. Um, okay, let's pick a nice place to make a house then. I've got quite a lot of wood. Uh, so let me just try and get rid of some of this ground here if I can. I might as well get rid of that one tree that's above me because that's going to really annoy me otherwise. <laughs> yeah, so I think basically the way the controls works is there's like an easy mode where you can just sort of generally attack things in the vicinity. And then you push down the right analog stick if you need to be exact and like destroy a specific block. And there's a bunny! Hello, bunny! Oh, can you be my friend? I know you can get pets. I don't know how you do it, though. Oh, how, how do I get you as my pet? Oh, please be my pet. Are you going to be my pet, bunny? Okay, I'll just kill it instead. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, I regret doing that. I, like, broke it off. I'm sorry, bunny. Oh, I feel bad now. Okay, I guess the way you get pets isn't by stabbing them in the face. I'm learning. I'm learning. What was it? Is this, like, a, like a mushroom here? Yeah, I got a mushroom. Can make some mushroom stew. There's so many trees around here. I might, I might get rid of some of these more massive trees and uh, get a bit more wood. I don't know how, I don't know how to build. I'm assuming it's going to be left trigger if right triggers attack. And I also need to think about getting some food. Saying that, I don't even know if I need to eat to survive. I oh, look at all these trees. Um, I, I kind of just want a, want a bit of flat land without any, um, without any trees there, so I can start building. And what's down here? I'm going to regret going down here, aren't I? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back out. Oh, I don't, I don't want to go down there. I don't even have any torches or anything. Right, can I get back out? You can jump quite uh, quite high. It's quite easy to get around on this game. And I know there are lots of ways you can fly as well. Like, as I said earlier, like jetpacks and stuff. So, uh, like, I think moving around should be quite easy. Right, can I do what I do in Minecraft and jump and press blocks under me? Um, how, do I, how do I place blocks? Do I need to, like, turn this wood into, like, wooden planks or something? Um, okay. Sorry, I know I'm a total noob, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, a workbench. I guess that's basically, like, a crafting table. A wood platform. There we go. So these can be placed. And uh, I need to, to put it up. I think on your inventory, basically, this top row is, like, your quick select bar. So I guess if I now jump, I can press blocks under me. Can I? Oh, there we go. Yay. Oh, no. Is this right trigger to build? Oh, there's a blue slime there. <laughs> Here we go. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of getting my way out. Leave me alone, slime. I'm trying to escape. <laughs> Yay, I managed to escape. Okay, I'm getting there. And I really need to start building my house. Right, I'm going to get one more tree just to get a bit more wood. And then I'm going to find a nice place to build my first little house. I don't know if I need to get any, like, coal or anything to make any torches. Uh, there's just slimes everywhere, though. Um, the, the world all looks very similar so far. I don't know if there's, like, separate biomes and stuff like there is in Minecraft, but... I kind of like this very bright, colourful land. Um, come on, where's a good place for a house? Oh, there's something else down here. What's this stuff? Is that is that mineable? What is it? Oh, iron ore! Just like lying around on the surface. Jolly good. Maybe make some iron tools. Another mushroom. Is this more iron ore? Iron ore just lying on the surface? Oh no, that, that, that's just stone. <laughs> oh, come on, where's a good... I just want a big, open, flat area where I can build a house. Oh, there's something, there's something down there. Look, there's something kind of like glowing there under the surface. Do you reckon that's like copper or something? I reckon it might be. Let me try using the exact mode. Okay, I guess I need to get rid of that tree to, to get rid of the, that block there. Come on, tree. Destroy. I need to get a better axe. It takes ages with that rubbish axe. All right, let's go wherever this stuff is. And then I'll finally start building my house. <laughs> yeah, here we go. I found, I found some more copper. I'm doing all right, aren't I? I'm doing okay. My first ever time. Like, I really need to play the tutorial, to be fair. And uh, I think it might actually be getting darker now. Now, be careful. Don't, don't die. Oh, there's a nice little pool there. There's a fish. How oh, can I kill the fish? 
I got a goldfish. <laughs> Yummy. I'm going to eat that later on. I'll eat it with my mushroom. I have fish and mushroom. Right, here we go. This is where I'm going to build my house just because, um, yeah, it is actually getting dark now. So, um, yeah, I, I need to start building. Right, okay. So let's just get rid of some of these trees. I'm going to level this land and then I'm going to start building. Oh, no, oh, look, the music's changing. Oh, look, look, the music's changed. Is that because it's getting dark? Is that because all the goo are about to come out? Right, oh, what's this? Oh, they are! What's that? There's a, what's that, a little eater? Eater of souls? Oh, go, go away, leave me alone. I haven't built my house yet. I've only got my little rubbish sword. Oh, no, no, there's loads coming. Oh, why didn't I start building early? I didn't realize I was going to get like this. No, 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 I've already got half a heart. No, run away, run away. Stampy, look, oh, no, I got killed. I was slain. Quick, I need, I need to respawn. Wherever, I'm, I'm back here. I'm back here. Okay, right. I just need to build a house here then. Right, I've still got all my stuff. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, it seems to be quite lenient if you die when you're on normal mode. Right, let's start building them, I guess. Can I not just start building here? There we go. Here we go. This can be the wall of my house, I guess. <laughs> oh, what a lovely little house this is going to be too. Right. Um, okay, I don't need too high a ceiling, I guess. I think you can only place things like when they're quite close to you. Uh, I can't build through that tree. Let me just get rid of this tree. Oh, I wish I'd built where I was building my house earlier. I quite like that little area with my little pond next to me, my little goldfish pond. <laughs> and I mean, I'm just going to take a while to get used to the controls. Like, it was obviously built for PC. You can tell, like, the way this cursor mode works that it, it should be on PC. But <laughs> I'm still glad that it's on console because, as I said, uh, I got a Mac, not a PC, so I had no other way to play this game. And plus, all my friends play on Xbox, so I can play with all of them. Right, okay, so let's, let's carry on. Uh, building this round here. Let's just make something safe. So when I'm attacked again, I have somewhere safe to be There we go. There's my nice little home I'm just gonna level out the ground a bit I think and then I might put down some uh, some flooring just some wooden flooring It's a bit weird building in 2d it all kind of seems a bit a bit strange Like I don't think this game has like quite the same emphasis on building amazing things as Minecraft does I think a lot of it is about uh, surviving and just sort of gathering materials and stuff and there's also bosses there's a whole load of bosses which are apparently uh, really difficult to uh, kill and you kind of like they're quite difficult to get as well you need to like summon them the one I saw you had to go down to hell and it was a boss called uh, like a wall of flesh and you had to like throw like a voodoo doll like down into some lava in hell and it summoned like this massive boss that you could then try and take out and I actually believe there's some uh, some bosses and other content that's exclusive to the console version uh, so that, that, that's quite cool it's nice that they're being nice to us like that okay so let me just fill in that bit of dirt have I got any dirt on me there we go there's a dirt block there oh is that all dirt there I think I built my house out of dirt oh this is a dirt house that's not even wood <laughs> right I need I need to make some torches then I guess um I can't even see anything. Right. Uh, how, do, how do I make torches? Do I have anything that I need? Uh, crafting torches. There we go. I, I made some. I, what do I need? I need... I don't know what, what I'm using to make them. Is that like slime I'm using to make them? There we go. Look, I'm holding some torches. Let's put some of these up. <laughs> oh, what a lovely little dirt house I've made. Ah. And poor Zach's there stuck outside. Are you all right, Zach? Do you need to come in the house? <laughs> I, I need to make a door and stop throwing my tools on the floor. Uh, how do I make a door? Crafting, workbench. Can I, can I make a workbench? Um, I, I don't know where it's at. Oh, here we go. Ingredients. If I press Y. Uh, do I need dirt? Oh, I don't, this is this is confusing. Okay, I think I need to make some more some more wooden blocks. I, I really should have done the tutorial first, shouldn't I? Uh, wooden platform, I guess. That's that's what I should have used to to build my house out of. I can't make the workbench. Um, okay, so where, where's my wooden my wooden planks then? Or wooden platforms. Okay, there's my wood there. I kind of want to replace the dirt with all the wood. And there's my goldfish. <laughs> Consumable. Oh, that gets my health up. Can I just eat the goldfish as it is? Um, yeah, I kind of want to replace my walls with um, with wooden walls, actually. Right, let me, let me get rid of this here. I'll be careful of that slime. I, I can take care of the slimes. I can deal with the slimes. You know, those other flying things that destroyed me. Right, yeah, let, let's get rid of all this dirt. And let, let's put some wood down there instead, shall we? Um, come on, Zach. Do you want to come in? You can come in my house, Zach. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to the house. This looks nicer. This looks nicer than the dirt. And oh, I'm just placing it everywhere. Okay, I might just do it like this. And then I get, I get rid of that dirt in the morning. Because I can't really reach it from here. 
There we go. Now I just get rid of this little wall here and replace this with dirt. And hopefully no googly's going to rush in the second I open it. And I've got rid of all my torches as well. I need to put them back down. We'll just shove one of them down now. Oh, I think I just punched Zach. Sorry, Zach. <laughs> go on, put the torch down. It's quite cool that you can kind of just hold it. Oh, no, no, things are coming. There's a zombie. There's a zombie. Quick. Level it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. There we go. <laughs> There's a zombie at my door and a bunny as well. I think that's the brother of the bunny I killed earlier. Just came down. <laughs> Have you seen Thumper? He was around here a second ago and I can't find him. I'm sorry, bunny. Okay, well, here we go. My first night in Terraria. I've already died once and look at my house. Doesn't it look so lovely? <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to end the video here. And as I said earlier, I'm going to go and do a playthrough of the tutorial and hopefully learn a little bit about the game. And oh no, that bunny died as well. It was killed by a zombie. <laughs> no luck for bunnies today. No luck for bunnies. And see you later, guys. You can't get in. I haven't even got a door. You have no way of getting in. Oh yes, yeah, so as I said, I'm going to go and play the tutorial. Uh, hopefully learn a little bit more about the game. And then I'm going to go and do uh, part two of this Let's Play. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed watching this video, uh, despite the fact I did absolutely awful. And I also want to thank 505 Games for sending me this game and allowing me uh, to make this video but that's the end of it now thanks for watching and i'll see you later bye